Hey guys, this is my anal draft analyst for the Token Minorities Tournament. I would upload the hype video, but it would take like an hour or something to load. So, I'm just going to hype it up with my draft analysis. Yeah, let's hop right into it. So, to start us off, I decided to grab the captain of the team, Mega Charizard X. It's going to be named Shredder. Um, it's arguably the best setup sweeper in OU. There is Manaphy, which has Tail Grow, but this thing is amazing. It can just set up Dragon Dances, and it has Reliable Recovery and Roost. Um, it, its stabs are amazing with Outrage, Dragon Claw, or Flare Blitz. Um, you can even boost your speed, which with Flame Charge, um, it gets Earthquake, Power Up Punch. You can also be supportive and run Tailwind and will o -Wisp or Toxic. Um, it gets moves like Thunder Punch, uh, Fire Punch, not Ice Punch obviously, but Body Slam. Just a really great overall Pokemon. Um, yeah, it can just do good reliable recovery and roost um it's typing's pretty good too it's a good starting base for my dragon steel and fairy as well as my fire water grass so yeah its stats are pretty good um aside from the hp and speed's lacking a bit compared to some of the earlier ones but once you set up a dragon dance not much can outspeed this. Um, yeah, it special attacks actually pretty good, but the major selling point is tough claws plus this amazing attack set and your two main stabs: flare blitz, outrage, and then you heal yourself with roost. Um, yeah, those are going to be hitting hard. And as I said earlier, it's just a really good setup sweeper. Next, we're going to be ha bringing the Clef Key, which is basically just Prankster. Sadly, we, this is an AG, so we don't have the Swagger, but we can't hack s things with Thunder Wave. We can set up spikes. Um, th these two p Pokemon alone um, finish my. Steel Fairy Dragon Core, which is pretty cool. Can foul play. Um, it also gets Magic Coat. Its stats aren't too much to work with. This is this was mainly to fill out my core because there were only eight Pokemon. Remember, so Charizard X and Klefki, who we're going to be naming Keychain because it's a keychain. I just drafted Klefki so so I can finish my core really quickly. Yeah, we're going to be mainly running lefties, although we could run some other stuff. It gets dual screens, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And also, if we do end up running into something like a tree, we have cup. Star Raptor. The suicide Pokemon. We can either lower Pokemon's attack stats or just use Reckless and fire off Brave Birds. This thing is kind of just a worse Charizard X in the fact that it doesn't get set up, just gets a better ability. Um, it can't. We can use her no. But when this thing gets banded, it hits hard. We can also in close combat double edge. Brave Bird, and it also gets U-Turn, which can be nice as if you wanna get out. Since it is a bit slower than base 100, that the U-Turn can be good for a uh, slow vault switch kind of thing. Even though we might be running Scarf, we also drafted Scorlipede, which is basically does what Scorlipedes do. do Set up toxic spikes, protect, sub, baton pass. We can't use our. 
we can't use our sword stance to pass, which is kind of bad, but we have speed boost, and we're just going to be setting up toxic spikes. It baton passes. It, it can actually sweep if we have sword stance. And then we can bring stuff like poison jab, mega horn, and protect. Get faster than everything. Set up a, a sword stance, then just kill everything. Has pretty good speed so far. The fastest Pokemon on my team. Um, it has a decent attack stat, but its other s stats are kind of lacking. But that's okay because you're not really going to be using the other stats. It gets Iron Defense, even though we can't baton pass that either. Hi guys. Um, welcome back, even though you didn't feel a thing, power of editing. We have Gothrita. Some of you are probably thinking, why did you choose Gothrita? Don't look right here, okay? <laughs> why did you choose Gothrita? Well, number one, Shallow Tag isn't banned. Number two, I wanted Gothitelle. I really did, but Gothitelle unfortunately got sniped the pick before me, so I had to make do with this thing. Some of you are wondering why I didn't grab Wobbuffet. Look at this move pool. It gets Tickle. And Flash. No. Yeah, so we ended up having Gothrita named A. E. Macarena. And this thing can wrap things and then just like use scarf trick or it can sub up combine, it can just trap and then toxic. This is meant to be more of a troll than anything. Um we can charm things. Yeah, yeah, it's just a Really good Pokemon. It doesn't get Amnesia, so we can't Toxic Amnesia spam. It It is a Cleric, though. It does get Heal Bill, which is nice. Uh, other than that, there's not much going for it. It gets a bit of coverage, Thunder Wave for hacks, and, and not much else is going for it. So, but still enough so that it can... Just use coverage, be a troll, and trap walls. Next, we have Blastoise, the Bazooka Turtle. This thing is the only spinner on the team, which sucks since we have Zardex. Now, this thing can run Scarf for speed, um, it can run a more defensive set. Since it gets iron defense, it gets Faco, uh, haze to eliminate setup. And but the main th reason I got it is a it's a bulky water type, and b it gets rapid spin, which were the two main things that I wanted with this pick. And that's about all. Next we have Whimsicott, the prankster with left overs and leech seed, sub, protect, and whatever you want for that last move skill. You can run taunt, you can run encore. You don't even have to run these moves. You can you can just run like cuz this speed is pretty good on its own 116. Um with usable special attack. You can also just memento. You can giga drain up. You get synthesis. Never mind, you don't get synthesis. But you can use cotton guard for just trolling. Um knock off. Really really nice move pool. U turn for what you call you turn you turn if you want to have some priority or whatever it's called 
it gets energy ball. You can also y use switch a root, switch a root, and give it something like a uh, flame orb for some nice burns. And the mate, and as always, it ha has prankster, which is really, really nice. But yeah, this is just a good Pokemon. It can rest talk. So yeah, there's really nothing wrong with this. And it completes my fire, water, grass core. As well as gives me a second fairy option. Now, last we have the thing everyone's been waiting for, Pikachu. I can either run regular Pikachu or any of the cosplay forms. I'm. I, this is kind of like a mega where I have to give up my item extra power in this case I'm giving up my item for a light ball but double see this oh that's nothing then I double it that's pretty good actually could make a solid are you Pokemon Taylor Swift it gets Volt tackle not in cosplay form but if I just do this Now it can get moves like Volt Tackle, um, Grass Knot, Fake Go, it gets Extreme Speed, Speed. it also gets Muzzle and Thunder Wave for Paralyzing, you can also have Wish, you can also run uh, on Physical Earth Special, and as always, it's Pikachu, who doesn't love Pikachu?